Warning signs you landed at one of the worst car dealerships in the U.S. I'm talking about a dealer that needs to be and perhaps is on our list titled THG's Car Dealer Wall of Shame. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Friends, when you hear some of these things during your visit to a dealership, it should set off red flags in your mind that you need to get up and walk out of the dealership. Well, friends, the scenarios we're going to share today are real scenarios taken directly from behavior of the very worst dealerships that we've ever encountered, either on our own or as reported to us by viewers. It's good for you to be familiar with this stuff because you should be leaving the dealership if this is the way that you are being treated. All right, friends, I will play the role of the rotten car salesman in the very bad dealership. And Elizabeth will be the unfortunate <clears throat> customer playing in your role. <laughs> Let's go, Liz. Well, hello, ma'am. So what brings you into our dealership today? Well, I've been shopping for a Honda CRV, and I noticed you have a few of them out on the lot. Yes, that's an excellent choice of vehicle. You'll probably notice that it's been redesigned, but it still retains that popular function of a SUV compact. We see tons of people coming in every day on them. It's just hard for us to keep them in stock. Oh, I know. I track vehicle inventories every day by brand, so I'm aware of that. That's great. I'm Kevin, uh, by the way, and you are? Well, you can call me Liz. Okay, Liz. Let's get you out in that 2024 Honda CRV you've been shopping for. Have you driven one of these before today? I did. I drove one that a friend of mine owns, and I did like it. In fact, that's the reason I'm here today. My friend turned me on to the CRV. But before we do anything else, I should test drive one of yours. For me, test driving the vehicle is an absolute must. No doubt it is. I have to say, we want everyone to test drive our vehicles. All right, one real quick thing before we go. It's just something we'd like to have our customers do before taking a test drive. I'd like you to fill out this customer service questionnaire, if you would, please. Customer service questionnaire? What's that for? It's just a short questionnaire that gives us a bit more information about you. Well, I like to read it over before I fill anything out. Well, uh, it just takes a few minutes to fill out. But this says customer service questionnaire, but really it's actually a credit application. Yes, I'm not really sure why it says that. Well, it's definitely a credit app. Are you serious that you want me to fill this out before I take a test drive? That's what we do for everyone. It's just kind of standard procedure around here. Well, I'm familiar with standard procedures because I have a few of my own. And one of them is to never fill out a credit app before I've even talked about the price of the vehicle and I haven't even driven the vehicle and decided if I like it. Why do you think we need a credit app done before the test drive? It's just another part of our customer service we provide. It gives our finance office time to figure out what you qualify for. But you can stop right there. I've heard enough. What you're really saying without saying it is that it gives the finance office the time to shop my credit to many different banks while I'm out driving and not to look for the best bank and best rate for me, but to look for the best bank for the dealership a bank that allows the finance office the opportunity to pack tons of stuff in the price offer that I have no plans to accept or pay for. Boom! Truth! The salesman has been instructed by his or her boss to get a finance app on the customer as soon as possible to set you up for finance and finance products while you're out test driving. Our comment section on our videos frequently has this problem that car buyers have been confronted with. Never fill out a credit app before a test drive this always works out to be a very bad deal for you. As Kevin said, never ever agree to fill out a finance app just to test drive a vehicle. Always stop the discussion and get up and walk out when they demand this from you. All right, let's get back to that car deal. For the sake of keeping this conversation going, I'll stay engaged to see what other things this dealer has up their sleeve. Man, I'm feeling slimy already. All right, Liz, so you drove the CRV and you look totally at home in it. I'm glad we got over that little bump of the credit app thing. Kevin, if we get where I think the price is good, that's the only time I'd consider filling out the credit app. And by the way, I'm here today with a pre-approval from my own credit union, so your finance office would have to beat that rate if they want the business. Okay, fair enough. Our finance office, I can tell you, is very capable and they do love a challenge. Do you mind sharing with me what the rate is that they need to beat? Well, I do mind. If we get to that point, they'll have the same opportunity to compete for my business from scratch, just like the credit union did. If your finance office is so capable, I'd like to see what they can do. Now let's talk more about the CRV. Yes, of course. The EX trim level does have some nice features, doesn't it? Yeah. Assuming we can work out the numbers, are you ready to take delivery today? Sure, but it depends on a couple things. 
First of all, the vehicle is listed at an MSRP of $35,985. I'm not in favor of paying a stack of fees as well. So what's the out the door price look like? Out the door price, very good. I always like it when a buyer comes in prepared and asks about an out the door price. That's just how I operate, Kevin. Okay, but there are several accessories our service department automatically adds to every single vehicle that comes in from the manufacturer. The accessories package is $78.99, but while I know this comes as a little bit of a surprise to you, my manager has already agreed to cut that down to $4,084 just for you. $4,084? But I checked this vehicle thoroughly on both cars.com and truecar.com, and I didn't see anything that was added to the CRV that would actually increase its book value especially not by $4,000. Your dealership didn't have any details listed about it on your website, talking about accessories. You're engaging in illegal deceptive pricing and also in illegal tied selling. Boom, it's a huge warning sign to be treated to an attempted forced and often previously hidden sale of accessories and add-ons. This is especially true when zero mention is made about them in their advertised price. Do dealers actually do this kind of stuff? Well, you better believe they do. And one dealer that is very guilty of this is Wolf Chase Honda in Memphis, Tennessee, as reported by one of our viewers who went there not long ago. Wolf Chase Honda earns a nomination on THG's car dealer wall of shame. All right, shifting gears here, we head over to Ford of Clermont in Clermont, Florida to see if they are any better. We are also changing vehicles. Liz was on the Honda CRV, but now she's going to a Ford F-150. All right, Liz, you drove the F-150. Assuming we can get all the numbers to work out for you, are you prepared to take delivery of this fine truck today? Well, that depends a lot on what numbers lining up means for you. What I'm mostly interested in is the out the door price. Out the door price? Hold on, we'll get there. The MSRP right here sits at 53,920, but then we also have a pre-delivery service fee of 11,98. fee for what? Pre-delivery, what's that supposed to be for? Well, we have to inspect, clean, and adjust the vehicle for you, you know. Kevin, it's a brand new truck. What could you possibly have done to it besides peel off the plastic seat covers from the factory? You needed to inspect it and clean it? Did one of the manufacturing guys wear his muddy farm boots in it? No, of course not. We charge that on every single vehicle we sell. Every customer pays it, but hold on, there's some more details. More? Yes, uh, right here there's the private tag fee of uh, 189 and then over here is the electronic registration fee, and that is $199. And you expect me to pay those fees because... Because everybody pays them, Liz. I'm not everyone, Kevin. Even the owner pays that. That's nonsense. If the owner pays it, that's like taking money out of one pocket and putting it in his other pocket. The fees just benefit his yacht account, and you know it. Last of all is something we do for every single vehicle as a customer service for our clients. Every vehicle comes with our customized Ford of Clermont Advantage package, and that right here is listed at $29.95. Look, Kevin, all these added fees and products are supposedly part of customer service. It sounds more like customer disservice. Sounds like it's time to get up and walk, and it's also time to out this dealership for completely unscrupulous behavior. Boom! Which is exactly what we're doing today, outing Ford of Clermont for being the crooked dealer of the week, a $4,600 worth of fake fees, including a worthless advantage package of $29.95. Thanks to Tom Stokel for alerting us about the unscrupulous behavior of this Ford dealer in Clermont, Florida. Friends, if you're in Florida and you're looking for a good Ford dealership to visit, forget about Clermont. We recommend you go to Mullinax Ford for your vehicle. They have multiple dealer locations, and just like us, they out crooks like Ford of Clermont for their unethical behavior. Okay, a recap of the red flags we uncovered here today. First is a focus on credit the moment you walk into the dealership. If any dealer wants a completed credit app for you to take a test drive, kick them to the curb as soon as it happens. Yes, just get out of there. Second is the habit of forcing accessories and add-ons into your car deal, claiming they do this on every car deal. The Wolf Chase Honda example we shared in Memphis, Tennessee is real. Wolf Chase Honda, you should hang your heads in shame. Tied selling is illegal, friends. Don't ever let a dealer cram products down your throat that they say are already on the vehicle. Now, the third red flag was courtesy of Clermont Ford in Florida. Surprise fees not mentioned in their advertising, which they simply spring upon the unsuspecting car buyer in the negotiation stage. Think about this, friends. You're all familiar with the term clean retail, but what does it mean? 
The entire reason dealer retail is referred to as clean retail, and they commonly charge that clean retail price, is because they are being paid to clean and recondition the vehicle to the standard of clean retail. Do not get suckered into paying a dealership a reconditioning fee or a dealer prep fee like the totally ridiculous $1,198 fee that Clermont Ford has. Refuse to pay these fees under any circumstances. If the dealer refuses to remove the fees, just walk out. You're done talking. Leave. Speaking of bad dealers, there's another dealer that I want to out today, and that is Dave Smith Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Idaho. They are known as a high-volume dealer known to have big discounts. They sold a warranty to our friend Howard on his Dodge truck from a company known as Warranty Solutions. It's one of the most bogus warranty companies out there. Their rating on Yelp is just 1.5 stars for, guess what, failure to pay warranty claims. Failure to pay, huh? Warranty Solutions is a perfect example of a warranty company that sells a fake package not worth the paper it's printed on. Dave Smith, shame on you. And another thing, Dave Smith, the request for a warranty refund that Howard brought to your dealership way back in July of this year, I personally wrote that letter for Howard and he is still waiting on the refund for this crappy product you knowingly sold him. You know and we know that Warranty Solutions is so bad that you should refund Howard as close to 100% of the money he spent buying it from you. And you know something else, Dave Smith? You're now on our car dealer wall of shame until you fix this. Howard tells us that when he went back to visit Dave Smith in July to buy a Durango for his wife, the finance office said, oh, we no longer sell that warranty as if they just learned it was no good and they stopped selling it. Nonsense, Dave Smith. Get your act together. Refund Howard's money as soon as possible. We will stay on your butt until you do. <laughs> with plenty of viewers who would love to have direct contact with us, Kevin, let's talk about our recently launched memberships. The two packages that give direct contact to us are the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99 that gives direct email contact to us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, and because those emails go to an email box outside of our general contact email, it definitely gets more regular response and interaction. The next package is Homework Guy Consults at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both Kevin and me, in addition to the email contact in the previous package. If you prefer one of us over the other, you'd be welcome to say so. We're singing off the same sheet of music, so you'll get quality advice out of either one of us. I also want to remind our viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, so make sure you visit our website. Other social media like Facebook is also a good way to stay connected and informed, so go like our page if you haven't already done that. And then for our many new viewers, there's past content that you must see. 11 Fake Fees is already at 4 million views for a very good reason. It was one of the best videos we ever produced. Also, a recent video to check out, New Car Inventory at 2.21 million. Highly valuable information for you on that video because it talks about where the inventory is at for every make and model. If you just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.